vaccine trial taking place uh, here in uh, in India, part of it in uh, in New Delhi. Uh, the Covaxin trial that's uh, being developed by Bharat Biotech, and one of the trials is taking place at the All India Institute of Medical Sciences. We're wonderful to have Dr. Padma Srivastava with us. Uh, she uh, is the chief of the Neuroscience Center at the All India Institute, and she is, uh, dare I say, lucky enough to actually have got a shot of the. Uh, uh, of the vaccine, and one can only hope that that works. Um, safety is obviously the biggest concern. Um, what was what was ensured? Uh, what sort of guarantee would someone like you have as you go into this trial? Well, this is a phase three trial, and uh, you know I'm I'm a science person, so I understand a phase three trial. It's a randomized control trial, so. I do not know whether I had received the medicine or I had received right. the placebo. Right. But obviously, when I go into it, I go with my eyes open and I consent. And the reason, I mean, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't intending to be the first volunteer. It so happened that way. But then the reason I participated in that is because I, I felt it was an honor to be in it. Number yes, of one, course. because this, this, this is a compound. This is, a, you know, a vaccine which is by my country of, you know, by India, of India, for India. And the second is that it is being conducted by my institute, which has been in the forerunner of all aspects of COVID pandemic. So it was an honor to be in. I went in with all the aspects well told to me and I, I consented it. So therefore, obviously, if there have been any issues, I had already consented. So I would know if there are issues and I'm willing to actually undergo those issues and nothing happened i'm fine and you can look at me now so there was no fever no uh, i don't know was there any nothing side effect at, at, all? at all nothing at all o obviously i i don't know uh again as i said right, i don't right, know if that is the placebo or the drug but they were and along with me there were a few more volunteers that day the very first day that the institute had launched the trial and none really had anything to write home about there's just one volunteer who had a very mild sore throat which does just disappeared. So uh, from what I know till day in the phase three, at least in the Institute, none of us really have had any issues to actually recount. And, and where right. exactly is Covaxin as part of the trial process right now? So the Covaxin is being obtained by Bharat Biotech. And this has come out and as I understand, though I'm not a vaccine expert, nor am I, you know, uh, uh, I'm not in the design of this trial, but as a but the participant, numbers. The, the numbers, well, the numbers, like in the institute, they are going ahead with about 1,000 odd. And, and this, this uh, you know, part of the trial is looking into the immune parameters. So they, the blood was drawn and they're going to monitor us over a period of four weeks. And I will be getting another shot at the end of 28 days. And we would look for the development of it. I had an RT-PCR before the shot. And so they're going to look at the symptoms and all. But there is another cohort, as I understand, we're also going to look at the, the antibodies who would be developed. So they will be looking for the development of antibodies and another cohort. So they have different cohorts who are looking and they're looking at different parameters. So I think it's a very well-designed trial. And it is, uh, you know this, that it is also being... Uh, monitored by the Indian Council of Medical Research. And you wouldn't have an idea, would you, when uh, we would know one way or the other if the drug is, uh, is ready? Uh, how soon? I ask because some of the other drugs are already almost on the market. So how much longer for Covaxin? So, so the ones that you're talking about are the guys which are in the U.S., you know, US the mRNA UK, yeah. trials of Pfizer and Moderna. But but when you're coming down to Indian, uh, you know, this region, I think Covaxin is is in, in definitely in a head-to-head -head race with Covid Shield. Yeah. I don't know much about Serum Institute, but the others are, and, and the Sputnik people have also come in. But I think Covaxin and the Serum Institute probably are almost head-to-head. Serum Institute probably a little higher because their phase three was was uh, you know was launched much earlier than Covaxin, but I think both of these would just be maybe a couple of weeks apart when they would be launched. But I don't think it's going to be launched in December. It's going to take time. Phase three right. is also it's an important scientific aspect. Right. What I'm very happy about and confident is that we would be getting good transparent data i think and that's most important dr shivastav that's what yeah that's Absolutely. most important
Well, it's great that you uh, you uh, actually got that dose and that you know you went ahead with the trial. And uh, if it's uh, if it's not the placebo and you got the actual thing, then who knows? Maybe you're protected. That's something we all uh, hope to be sooner than later. Dr. Shivasa, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. We'll take a short break. There's a lot more coming up uh, on NDTV 24/7. Do stay tuned.